back in the NFL. Say it ain't so. What's going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk. Back at it with another video talking some NFL. And yes, that's right. What you have heard is correct. Johnny Manziel, Johnny Football, is trying to make a comeback to the NFL. He reportedly texted Ed Warder uh, of ESPN. And I have the message in front of me right here. Um, he texted him saying, I love sports, I love football, and when you take something away from yourself, you realize it the hard way. The happiness from doing it sober has been astronomical, beyond my wildest imagination, and once that continued, other good things started happening in my life, and it just clicked. So, Johnny wants to make a comeback. He's been tweeting. Um, saying that the only thing he's focused on right now is football and nothing else matters. And he says that it only takes one team to believe in him for him to have a chance. So a lot to digest here. So what exactly can we draw from this Johnny Manziel situation? And is he really going to be able to make a comeback? Because Johnny can do and ask for what he wants. The question is, will he get it? Will he be able to convince an NFL team to take a chance on so him? A lot of people should know that the reason Johnny Football is out of the NFL is not because of football. It's because of his off-the-field issues in which he's had a lot of trouble with. If you remember, he was suspended the first four games of the 2016 NFL season for violating the substance abuse policy. Um, he was arrested for domestic violence with his girlfriend. He was caught, you know, snorting cocaine with $100 bills in Vegas, all the partying way. So Johnny Menzel has been partying since Texas A&M and has been in the spotlight and has been getting tr in trouble off the field since he has been um, playing football recently. And so that is the reason because Johnny Menzel could not be sober. He couldn't control himself. He couldn't be disciplined. And that's the reason why he's out of the NFL. That's not even getting to the fact that he had problems on the football field. I'm talking about in terms of being a quarterback, in terms of having the correct mechanics, in terms of playing the position well, because he did not play it that well either. So, really, the first things first, Johnny Football, I should say Johnny Menzel, but Johnny Football, whatever, that's just what I call him, that's his nickname. His main thing should have always been to get sober, and it seems like he has gotten sober. He said he has gotten sober without any professional help, which is really good. But I got to, I have to see more. It's too early right now. I need to see Johnny Manziel be sober for an extended period of time before I believe in him. He has said before that he would get sober. He's gotten to rehab, and then he has fallen back into that same trap once again. So first of all, everybody needs to see Johnny Menzel, including NFL teams especially, stay sober. And then after that, we can talk football. So now let's talk football because Johnny Menzel did play 15 games for the Cleveland Browns. He started eight. I'm talking about both his rookie year and his second year. Threw for a little bit over 1,500, 1,600 yards. 57% completion percentage, seven touchdowns to seven interceptions over his very, very brief NFL's career. So really to me, Johnny Menzel wasn't that impressive. He's already a small quarterback. He took a lot of hits when he was playing for the Browns, and he was decision-making was suspect at best. He had a lot of the bad habits he had from Texas A&M, which was improvising and rolling out um, when he wouldn't stay in the pocket and worked on his mechanics. So for Johnny Menzel, first step, stay, staying sober. Second step, working on his mechanics within the pocket. He was not that great of a pocket passer. He was actually a poor one. He did have a deep ball, but he wasn't that great at all of the other parts of the game. His specialty, of course, was improvising, rolling out of the pocket, and making plays. Don't get me wrong, Johnny Menzel absolutely still has talent, for, but for him to get back into the NFL, he's going to have to take a third or second string role. No team will give him a starting quarterback job right away at all. I don't believe they will. So he's going to have to come in as a backup or a third string and work his way up uh, or maybe have an injury take place for him to get some real playing time. And really for Johnny Menzel, that is what the reality is. And he should accept it because he has made a lot of mistakes and it's good that he is realizing that. But for him to ever get back to starting an NFL football game, it is going to be a long, hard road. He has 
just besides the off the field issues he's got a lot of things to work on on the football field as well he's got to improve his mechanics got to work within his pocket presence he's got to learn uh, the intricacies of playing the quarterback position because this is the hardest position to play in sports and it, not being disciplined is just not going to cut it it's not just stopping partying it's getting back to working hard okay because this is a hard position to play and Johnny Manziel needs to realize that so do I think Johnny Manziel will start an NFL game? Not anytime soon. It's going to take him a little bit of time, actually a lot of time. I do think that he will be able to convince the team to give him a third or second string job. Uh, not right away, like I said. It will take some time, but I do think it is possible because quarterback is a position of need and teams will get desperate. So, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think about Johnny Menzel's potential comeback. Do you think he makes a comeback? I have my reservations. I think he needs to stay sober for an extended period of time before we really get serious about this. But we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Please leave a comment down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.